Hello spider peeps. Well, in my previous video, I've been trying to get an SD card working on my Spider Mac RP24E. And honestly, I was recording that video very late at night and I wasn't paying much attention whatsoever. But anyway, I thought I could do it. I thought I was a contender. Didn't work. I spent some time looking at some things. There's been a few suggestions on comments. One of them was to make a boot partition on it and make a smaller partition, put the disk file on it that way. I didn't get round to that, but I did get this other comment from Herman Sieb. Thank you, Herman. He said, did you configure the SD support in the project options? By default, it's off. All right, yeah, if you look at Matt Evans' GitHub here, the bit where it talks about this. I was obsessing with this. It says include ST card support. The GPO's default is that and GPO's pins by default. So I thought, OK, they're default. I don't need to specify these. So it's all cool. I can use it. But I didn't see this bit. Darn it. <laughs> What a thicky stupid, but I was tired. Thank you, Herman. You've earned some spider stickers, some of my new merch. All right, so there's probably the problem. Now, it might be that I've still got to format that. We'll see what happens. So let's try this today. So I've got to rebuild this. Let me pull up my terminal as I had it before. All right, so let's go through this from the top then. So first of all, I've got to build UMAC with that memory size so let's just check that I've I've done that so let's go into the terminal let's go back into where my files were so I've got to go into CD external and UMAC and then I've just got to make this with the mem size of 208 now, I think I might have done that before. I'm just doing it again, just in case. Nothing to be done. All right, so it's already there. So let's go back into the top level of the PicoMac directory. And let's just check. I've still got the build directory there. I have, yeah. So CD into build. Okay, and then I've got to create the files first, haven't I? So this has got the the firmware that I did previously so let's uh, bring that up if I can just have a look at that firmware so there's the build they're the firmware files that are created on the 5th of September so I need to do the export which I should have somewhere in my history that export there okay and then I've got to do the CMake I always get confused with this so the CMake creates the files to make doesn't it I think create make maybe think or C program make don't know let me know in the comments if you know what C make stands for but anyway we've got this D mem size we've already created the UMAC with that 208 mem size and then this is the extra bit we've got to do use SD true so let's run that it doesn't look like it's done anything nothing's changed but we haven't built it yet have we that's just created the files I think for the build if I go up one, I should now be in the main Pico Mac directory, which I am. So now I should do make minus C build. So that build directory I created and did the make files in. I'm now saying, all right, make what's in there. Let's see if it does anything. Looks promising. Definitely doing something, isn't it? Okay definitely doing lots of things let's have a look at this watch this and see whether it changes see the make file it says has changed at 1650 oh there we go all right so there are the files that have been created so is this firmware uf2 sd card enabled that's the question isn't it so uh oh baited breath let's pop this in there All right, I find sometimes this boots straight into the update firmware mode and then other times it doesn't. I'm never quite sure what it's going to do. Um, so this isn't this is definitely not running because it's not flashing the light. But let's uh, just do a hold down boot and reset. Feeling this might have a faulty reset button on it. 
Okay, um, so there's my firmware. Let's drop it over. And this takes a little while to copy across. Hopefully, when it ejects it, we should see the blue light start to flash. Letting it do this real time for a change. Okay, there we go. All right, so at least I've compiled the firmware correctly. Whether I've got the SD card working on it or not, I don't know. Okay, so let's get this set up then. Oh, there we go. All right, so we work in there. So that's good. I've not ruined the firmware by recompiling it. So now let's pop this in here and see what happens. Now I've got no idea whether I can't even remember whether on the Mac, if you put a new disc in, it will pop up. I assume it will, because you could put a second disc in, couldn't you? Whether the emulator can do that, I don't know. But it doesn't seem to have noticed it. So I'm going to reset the Pico Mac. There we go, and try it again. Good, still booting. Didn't have to mess about with it. And then we'll see if the new disc pops up. It's making a fuss, isn't it? Yay! Oh wow, it worked! Alright, so it's defaulted to the external disk. So if you remember when I downloaded this in the last video, I downloaded the guide so we knew it was a different disk, just in case it did boot one over the other. But yeah, so where's my mouse? Alright, let's pop this in, if you can do it without crashing. I can see this is getting all fiddly again now, so yeah, definitely. Next video, let's design a new board for the SD card. All right, so hopefully it's worked on that. I wanted to do I'm ready to stop, because that'll go out of the... Oh, it looks like it boots on that no matter what. Um, I was hoping I could quit this. Oh, there's the guided tool, yeah. I was hoping that this would quit and I'd be able to see the other drive on it. So it looks like we've only got, in fact, has that crashed? Well, that yeah, that's crashed. Oh no, there we go. Oh, it's, I wonder if it's talking to me and I don't realize if it looks like it's playing a green recording. All right, yeah, so I mean, we won't, if this is just a recording, I'm not gonna see anything there, am I? Probably, there wasn't enough room to put um, talking on this. Okay, anyway, so we've got this working. The issue was that I didn't have the SD card enabled on it. And what's great is I can use a 32 gigabyte SD card in that and just drop the drive image onto it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's tidy this up in the next video. If you'd like to see what we do with it next, please subscribe and let me know what you liked or didn't like about this video. What did I do wrong this time? Okay, bye.